the death of Amako Tsunehisa saw the Ochi and Mori armies invade Izumo, and initially it went well. Then the war stalled, and into the next year, they finally reached their goal of Gasan Toda Castle with war weary armies, a broken supply line, and Kikawa or Kisune betraying their cause. The Amako jumped at this apparent weakness and attacked. Motonari had surrounded Tomita Castle, but the Ochi retreated. This caused a rout, and Motonari almost died were it not for a loyal retainer, Watanabe Hajime. This drove the invaders all the way back to Nagato and Aki, weakening Ochi power in the region. In the end, the only winner from this conflict was the Mori, as Ochi Yoshitaka was truly affected by the loss and withdrew to Yamaguchi to luxury, leaving his clan to the hands of senior retainers. This left the Mori more opportunities to expand even further in Aki. In the meantime, the Amako had pushed their successful defense into an expansion east into Hoki, Mimasaka, and Bichu. In 1544, Motonari sent his third son for adoption to the Numata branch of the Kobayakawa, who were famed for their naval forces. This boy will be known to history as Kobayakawa Takakage. Meanwhile, the Amako attacked the Miyoshi clan in Bingo, and the generals Motonari sent were both repelled. The next year got worse when Motonari lost his beloved wife, causing him to break down and saw the great Daimyo not emerge from his room for three days. In 1546, Motonari announced that he was going into retirement and that his son, Mori Takamoto, would lead the clan. In fact, Motonari wielded so much power and respect that he was still, in actuality, the head of the clan and his retirement was not accepted by his retainers. The next year, he sent his second son to be adopted by the Kikau clan and he would come to be known as Kikawa Motoharu. These two adoptions were key as through manipulations and outright ordering of execution, both his sons would become heads of both clans. This resulting in his direct family controlling Iwami, Bingo, the Seito Inland Sea, and nearly all of Aki. In 1549, Motonari, his second and third sons, went to Yamaguchi to see the Ochi. But then Motonari fell seriously ill and had to stay in Yamaguchi for three months before being able to leave. His caretaker was Inoue. Mitsutoshi, the Inoue, were a well known clan in Aki and normally served the Mori before holding Tenjiyama, south of the Mori capital of Yoshida, Koriyama Castle. As the Inoue clan got more powerful, they started to test Mori's strength by even openly criticizing Mori decisions. This resulting in Motonari showing his strength by finally ordering and getting many of the Inoue clan to commit suicide for treason. Not including, of course, Mitsuhoshi. Thus, the Mori became Aki's undisputed most powerful clan. While in the Ochi clan, the Lord's interest in luxury allowed, especially in military affairs, his retainers to fight for power. Allegedly, one retainer, Sue Takafusa, tried to advise his Lord to take more control over the army, and even saying that if not, someone will revolt. But unheeded, the person to revolt turned out to be Sue himself. This revolt forced Ochi Yoshitaka to flee and when he found that none of his retainers were willing to help him, he committed suicide. Sue then put a puppet lord as Daimyo from the Otomo clan. He came to be known as Ochi Yoshinaga. Motonari paid this new lord the standard amount of respect but tension was definitely at its head between the two clans. But neither Sue all Motonari was ready for open conflict. For example, in this time, Motonari took Takiyama Castle in Bingo. So how would this play out and affect Western Japan? And maybe even lead to a famous battle? Find out next time and till next word.